Hello friends, let us solve this problem. So calculate the wavelength and frequency of a photon having an energy of 2 electron volt. So what is electron volt? So you see the conversion, 1 electron volt is 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules. So kaise hai? 1 electron volt ka matlab when one electron when one electron is accelerated is accelerated through a potential difference of one volt through a PD of one volt or through a potential of one volt or through one volt so one electron volt energy is associated with it so basically energy is nothing but uh, charge into the potential difference so charge of one electron you know it is nothing but 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs charge ka unit is coulomb okay always remember so a electron itna charge carry karta hai and if it uh, it is accelerated through a potential of 1 volt to ye hota hai 1.602 to 10 raised to minus 19 joules because energy ka unit is joules so this we this whole term we can call it as one electron volt that is meaning the meaning of here a electron when accelerated to one potential difference to a PD of one volt so it's called one electron volt volt and how this how this comes this is known uh, in physics you will learn that work done is nothing but q into v so work done or energy both have same units so yes energy is q into v so this you will learn in physics scalar to statics mein, but don't go deep it na deep not job in fill out my other book so okay you know derivation now at the abhi hame one electron volt malum bitna hai so two electron volt bitna hai twice of this so this you get so this is e okay now we have to find the wavelength and the frequency so you know e is hc by lambda h nu right nu is c by lambda so lambda is hc by e we know the value of h we know the value of C, Y, because it is a photon, right? Photon matlab unit of light, and the electromagnetic wave, EM wave, and EM wave has always a velocity as C. C is nothing but 3 to 10 to 8, always remember. So, yes, substitute in the values, we get the value of lambda, which is nothing but 6.204 into 10 to minus 7 meters, or you can write it as 6 to 0, 4 into 10 days to minus 10 which is nothing but angstrom okay now if we you record the wavelength frequency is similar c upon lambda say c upon lambda lambda is similar so we get the value of frequency as 4.8 into 10 days to 14 second inverse so that's the solution thanks for watching the video see you next time